Hello friends, I am Vishal. Welcome to Global Power BI User Group. From today, we are going to start a new series that is Dashboard for the Life. And in this series, we are going to call out all the Power BI heroes and we are going to ask them to showcase their dashboard through Global Power BI User Group platform. I think this is really going to be useful for everyone, those who want to know everything about the dashboard from the data stories and we will go from there. So this series is all about sharing the dashboard content and any special visualization around that particular dashboard. Not only that, we are going to understand the concept behind the dashboard, how that specific dashboard is evolved over the time and as well as we are going to solve here a general problem for example dashboard which i have created that might be useful to you and you might further enhance edit that particular dashboard so we have to look for the general problem and solve that particular general problem and share it to the world so the most important thing we are also going to be share uh, everything about the dashboard so if you are interested to join with us in this series to showcase your dashboard through Global Power BI user group platform, you are most welcome. We are going to share a few links with you where you can sign up and showcase your dashboard with us. So in this series, we are going to follow a specific template in which we are going to showcase all the dashboard like about the dashboard, about the dashboard creator, is there any KPIs involved in that dashboard, everything etc etc. So let's start with myself and I will explain what I have created for SQL Server Information Dashboard. So in this slide, I, I have just explained what I am doing. So again, once again, I am Vishal and I have nine plus years of experience in BI Solution Architect. Right now I am working with Aptitude and I have been blogging in BI Mentalist and SQL Mentalist from 2010. If you are more interested into SQL queries, you can go in my SQL blog. You will find a lot of queries ranging from DBA to the development users and uh, recently Recently, I have been started blogging regarding Power BI, so that will be also very useful for you. Not only that, I have created few products on Codeplex. If you are interested into that, please go through this slide. You will get a lot of information, what I am doing, what I am doing in terms of community, what I am doing in terms of my blogging. You will get to know a whole lot of information from this. So what is the dashboard about? What is this dashboard about? And what are the KPIs involved in this dashboard? So my main aim to develop this dashboard is to encourage DBA to use Power BI, how they can visualize a SQL Server information and the instance information in the Power BI. That's that's my main aim. Not only that, you can get to know a driver information, you can get to know hardware information when your SQL Server started, as well as all the SQL Server configuration right at your fingertips. You don't have to go and query SQL Server. You just have to go into your dashboard, search for the specific information and the information will be available for you. So what are the KPIs involved in this dashboard? So this dashboard has mainly three KPIs. One is the CPU uses and the second one is the memory uses and third one total space versus free space. Yes, this is very important if you are a DBA, if you are an administrator in particular organization, you have to know what are your size, what are your CPU uses. So this dashboard is going to be really helpful for all the DBS for sure. So how this dashboard is evolved? That's the very important question that we are going to ask everyone so I'm going to ask myself also so this dashboard is evolved mainly over my all the DBA script that I have been maintaining in my SQL mentalist blog if you are interested I have more than 300 plus SQL server scripts which I have been collecting and posting it into my SQL mentalist blog you are most welcome to go there and download and use those scripts whenever you want and how you can visualize a SQL server instance information though that information is very simple very generic how you can use that information on your dashboard and see visually how power bi can help you so what are the wh questions i can answer regarding this dashboard the first is who who can use this dashboard so main thing dbs can surely use this dashboard not only dbs but if you are a database developer you are using a lot of store procedures parallel processing or ssis developer then this dashboard is definitely going to help you so where you can use this dashboard so this dashboard you can use in real time development as well as if you have a production environment you can definitely point out this dashboard to your production instance and get the information on the dashboard and review that information so when 
the next question is when when can you use this so this dashboard is actually on demand whenever you need a information just press the refresh fetch the data and the information is readily available for you so fourth question is which is the key column in all the data entities so i have made a name which is actually a database name as the main key column for all the entities to relate themselves together and showcase all the relationship inside the dashboard and the last and the most important question how how you can use this dashboard so i have made a sql server instance as a parameter inside the dashboard so whenever you are going to download a template oh wait whenever you are going to download means you have to sign up for the global power bi user group and then we will mail you the dashboard template so when you will receive the dashboard template when you open it, it it's going to ask you what is the parameter what is your sql server instance that you have to point inside the dashboard once you will point that particular parameter through your sql server instance that's it then you are good to go to use this dashboard okay so the now the most important part that is dashboard demo and here you can see the dashboard is very flexible not only that you can get to know all the information real time about all the uh, sql server information such as what are the instance name what is the ip address not only that there is a stack bar chart for the disk information such as disk free space versus the total space you have a uh, indicator for memory uses and cpu uses here you can see in the center of the dashboard i have also covered the number of cps used in for your particular sql server uh, not only that i have also included which particular cpu you have used in the sql server instance so right now you can see the dummy server which i am pointing right now it has intel i5 and it has four logical cpus a uh, further further digging into dashboard you can see the memory details in the mb like what is the committed memory what is the physical memory used by your particular sql server instance so not only that you can also get the information such as when your sql server is running from like when that particular sql server instance is started and which is the startup user that for that particular server and all the sql server installation information such as developer edition or its a production version and what is the coalition involved in that particular server so in short this dashboard this particular first sheet of your dashboard is nothing but at a glance so in the sheet 2 you can further dig deep dive into a specific database what is that particular database size what is the comparison between that particular database versus another what are the different types of files involved in that particular relationship with the database so basically other sheets are just further more deep dive information i am sure i am not going to explain each and everything if you are the dba when you are, you are going to see it you, are, you will realize that what it is and you, i have also covered who which is very most important like who is connected to your sql server instance like i have different types of filter which can which which can be definitely useful for you that to divide uh, your users with the programs users connections and then you can realize that that who is actually how you can visualize your who query in the power bi so uh, i am really happy to give this dashboard to everyone and hope you will definitely going to use this dashboard so moving over to the very last and important side how you can join the global power bi user group so definitely we have a facebook group which is really active which have more than 850 members right now and that group is very active when you have question people are posting and getting the response i have a linkedin group also there we have more than 1200 group people and they are posting all the real time information we do have the official uh, available sign up if you have sign up for global power bi user group then you will receive each and every information and activity what we are doing inside the global power bi uh if you have already signed up for the global power bi user group then you will definitely receive all the information that we are doing right now into global power okay thank you for listening i hope you like and enjoy this dashboard for sure and once again this is dashboard for life episode 1 and here we explain visual sql server information dashboard stay tuned for our next episode